Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today we are going to bring a gun to a knife fight. We'll be using Circuit Breaker to make throwing knives much more effective. Circuit Breaker has a special effect that creates an energy blast and stuns enemies. Now this will trigger on the very last shot on the magazine when you hit an enemy. So if you have Circuit Breaker equipped but it's not loaded, that last shot effect will actually trigger on throwables, which means we can make throwing knives hit much harder. Now, throwing knives are generally something you'd only use as a low-level player. They will one-shot, I mean, they're actually pretty effective on low-level uh, enemies and low-level creatures. They'll one-shot most things up to about level 15, and then start dropping off at that point, and by level 20, they're not all that useful. But using Circuit Breaker, we can actually change that. There's not a lot of perks that uh, we'll need for this, uh, so I will use Grenadier because that explosion that uh, Circuit Breaker triggers is actually affected by Grenadier. And because we'll use uh, throwing knives, we're going to use fire in the hole. That'll let us hit a lot easier. And at rank three, that means we'll have more range on those throwing knives. Things like tenderizer will help. On the, in the cases where you don't one-shot things, it will add a little bit of extra damage. And I believe follow through works as well. Uh, when I've tested this in the past, that second shot is much higher. And the only thing that would account for that is follow through. And I do have that equipped. So first I want to show what this looks like. Uh, you can see I have a handmade equipped. So this is what a throwing knife will normally look like in terms of damage. Well, ah, okay. Let's try this again in a spot where I could actually uh, don't have to run into invisible walls. So there's the first shot, second shot. Second shot kills him. Now if I equip, uh, not a thumbs down, there we go. Now if I equip Circuit Breaker, we'll th see things will be a little bit different, hopefully. Assuming they don't teleport. You can see that uh, it's a one shot, plus we get the cool explosion, and we are able to stay hidden, generally. Stealth does uh, <laughs> stealth does help a lot. Uh, nice thing about throwing knives, of course, it's not going to have uh, on his body. Yep, he's not either. Very often you can get, uh, you can get them back from looting enemies. It's kind of like railway spikes in that regard. Nice thing about throwing knives also is they don't take much to craft, it's just steel. So... This is a very cheap and effective, uh... <laughs> so you can see, throwing knives actually, or uh, Circuit Breaker actually makes this really fun, and they hit, I mean, I'm, I'm one-shotting them instead of two-shotting them, so it's really nice. Now these are just Scorch, so let's try something uh, that is a little tougher. Now I don't expect to one-shot, this should be level 50 usually. Oh, that's a 60, he's 50, so... All right, let's try the Hound since this guy doesn't want to hold still. Now they're both stunned, which is kind of nice because, oh, but I didn't, uh, I didn't hit. So in the cases where you're not one-shotting, having that stun effect is actually pretty nice because it usually will get you a chance to, uh, there we go. Yeah, not a problem. And again, yep. <laughs> there's no, as far as I know, there's no way to, uh, to get that back. Now, one thing about throwing knives that is a little bit, uh, on the downside you can see that stack weight, 41. So far, I haven't found any perk that actually lowers the stack weight of throwing knives. I was hoping Ordnance Express would, but that, uh, it does what it says it does. It only applies to grenades and mines. So, yeah, throwing knives, probably weapon weight reduction armor would do it, but I don't have that. So, yeah, that is a lot of extra carry weight. Uh, let's see what we could do here. Now, it does take some time. Now, it is nice. So, he holds still for that second shot. If it takes three shots, there we go. Splash damage. Whoops, splash damage, not that much. So thing I've noticed about the Circuit Breaker is the splash damage isn't all that great, but so far we're able to stay hidden. Uh, this is really good if you wanted to roleplay as like a ninja or something, although I'm not sure how you'd account uh, for the... Uh... <laughs> Ooh, 600, so that must have been... I don't even know, since we can't do critical hits. Uh, let's see, if we could stun him and kill him before he shoots us with the... Uh... Oh, okay. So far, we're able to stay in caution, which is kind of, uh, there we go. I don't know how that's happening. I should be, uh, <laughs> now this is definitely not the most effective. Obviously, this isn't something I'm going to say is OP. It's, it's definitely not, but throwing knives in this case wouldn't even be something you would attempt. It just wouldn't be, it would take you forever to kill anything normally with a throwing knife. Now, this is fun. I like the, uh, okay, now I'm in danger. So now my damage goes way down. That is the downside about being a fa um, detected, but uh, we'll get it done. There we go. And I have another one queued up, but of course I just have to throw it into the sky because... Now if I were to do a character built uh, just around doing this, like if I wanted to specialize in just throwing, 
throwing knife playthrough, which I've actually thought about doing. I would definitely be using shadowed armor, because right now I'm using uh, just secret service, which is not the most stealthy. Uh, and I am a full health character, so also that limits me in terms of my stealth. But, I mean, that stun attack is actually, and this is level 60 legendary and that, so we're actually taking care of enemies okay. Now, obviously, you want to keep this un unloaded, and if it's unloaded, the, the effect will trigger every time you connect on a throwable. The only thing you really have to watch out for is maybe the accidental reload if you do area loot, because you will get contextual ammo with this. Now, I haven't tested this against uh, robots. I don't expect this to go all that... Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> I guess I guess if you nail the fusion core, you know, maybe the... Uh, Maybe the explosion, because of the area of effect, it triggers the fusion core, I don't know. That's my first attempt on a, on a robot, so uh, <laughs> that went much better than I expected, but that was pretty cool, actually. Let's see how we do here. Yeah, they uh, move around. They're supposed to be stunned, but that one didn't get the message. He's still moving about. But the nice thing is, if, if you do get detected, if they start moving in your direction, it makes it much easier to hit, uh, to hit the target. See, this is actually going pretty well. And I'm in the Cranberry Bog, so this is a high-level area, and I haven't had to shoot a gun yet. Oh, that one's still alive. There we go. All right, that went so well that... And you can see how having uh, fire in the hole will make things a lot easier. Throwing knives aren't necessarily the easiest thing to use, even with this. It, it takes a little bit of practice. At least it did for me. And, of course, once the enemies move... There we go. Now, what I'm hoping is this is a behavior that, uh, I'm not sure if it's intended or not, but I'm hoping that it's not something that ever gets patched. I mean, obviously, you're not going to be OP with something like this, but it certainly does add a really good element of fun. I mean, number one, maybe you're not a pistol character, or maybe you just want to use uh, throwables. I mean, this works on grenades as well. I don't think grenades actually need the help, but throwing knives definitely do. So hopefully this is not something that gets patched out. But I've been having so much fun with this, I'm actually considering starting a new character that uses just throwing knives uh, with a circuit breaker. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see here. Can we take him down? I don't know. He's... Okay. Well, if he moves around too much, nice thing is he is a rather large target. But yeah, if he doesn't hold still, it makes things a lot more difficult. And we could stun him. I think uh, they're immune after 10 seconds. Wow, yeah, he is... Uh... <laughs> Some enemies, that is one of the downsides though, like if you're going to use this, you will have to carry a lot of throwing knives because you do go through them rather quickly. And so that is a lot of carry weight. But if this is all you're using, it would be fine. So we're whittling away at him, slowly but surely. Uh, but if we are able to stay hidden, we do have the time. We're not taking hits, we're not under fire. So... Okay, uh, let's see. Now he seems to kind of have figured out where we might be. And then he lost interest. But yeah, 200 per hit. That's actually pretty good for this just little piece of steel we're throwing at him. I do kind of wish that throwing knives were affected by your strength. It seems like a character with a high strength would actually be able to throw these harder and do more damage. But we got the job done. And there you have it. Just a little bit of extra fun you can have with the Circuit Breaker. I've certainly had a lot of fun testing this out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.